since I teach politics in the media and have become somewhat of a media critic these days, uh, it, it seems to me that the media has had a lot to do with what's going on. I want to get Bob's take on that as well, but let me introduce you over the phone to a terrific person, a great friend, and uh, a wonderful, wonderful progressive, Bob Creamer. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Very great. Great to be with you this evening. Oh, it's so good to have you back. Thanks. Um, now, here's, here's my take about what happened, and then I want to hear yours. I think that this was about, I figured this out, I think that this was about two percentage points. And I'll tell you why I think it's about two percentage points. Um, because the spin that the media had up until the evening when the ballots, when the, uh, you know, the voting actually ended, the spin was that it was going to be a standoff, that Hillary was going to win Indiana, and that Barack Obama was going to win North Carolina. And it seemed pretty clear from the polls that that was what was going to happen. My sense is that if Indiana had been 53-47, instead of 51-49, which is a swing of two points, if she had had a six-point margin instead of a two-point margin, I think the scenario would have been different from the media. I think the media would have been saying, well, you know, she, she did what she had to do, and she's going to keep going. Instead, a couple of things happened. And the first thing was, I think, the optics of the evening, which was that within about five minutes, uh, maybe ten minutes, of the polls closing in North Carolina, bam, they were able to call it for Barack Obama, which immediately told all of us that it was going to be a significant win, and at exactly the same time, they had to say that Indiana was, at that point, they were saying too early to call. And I think that that changed the expectations game in the mind of the pundits, and when she finally did pull it out, it didn't have a whole lot of meaning. What do you think? Yeah, well, I, I certainly think from the standpoint of the optics, you're totally right. Uh, and, and, you know, it's a big advantage to have uh, uh, your race called uh, immediately, you know, for the balance of the evening. He right. was being uh, discussed as a winner. And, uh, and even before, I think we knew that it was going to be very close in Indiana, uh, and they weren't able to discuss uh, Hillary as a winner. So, so that was a big, big plus. I will say this, though, Barry. I think, notwithstanding the, the difference in the optics that these, like you say, two, two or three percentage points made, mm -hmm. um, I, I think, regardless, the math is such that uh, right. uh, coming out of last night, it, the big fear that I think those of us who backed Obama had is that if he lost North Carolina, it wouldn't have changed the numbers a lot going into the next couple of months, but it would really shake its superdelegate confidence and the confidence right. of other people in the party as to his winability and whether or not the Reverend Wright controversy had really derailed him and so on. And what instead happened is people were reassured that in the face of this gale force political shift to the winds that happened over the last couple of weeks, he was able to uh, pull out a major victory in, a, in, in, 